Declan, I thought it was a bit unfair maybe to ask you for an interview a few hours after you took charge on Saturday at Dungannon. You've been here a full five days now, you just so how are you settling into the road? Really good. I've really enjoyed the week. I've uh, really enjoyed working with players. Um, love getting on the training pitch. It's a pleasure. Um, as I say, this week the players have they've been out, they've been excellent. They've been excellent in training. Um, really good buy-in in terms of the intensity of the sessions. Really good quality. And as I say, everybody's been really helpful and everybody's been really welcoming. But we're here. We're here to try and win football matches now, and, and that's the be all and end all. Um, as good and enjoyable it is, the, the big show on a Saturday is the most important factor at any football club and, and hopefully we have prepared well enough this week now to go and give a, a good performance and a good account of ourselves to back up the good performance in Dungannon. Has it helped you coming here where fans are massive to already have that connection with the fans and to know a little bit about the trophies and success that the club expects? I, I think it, it definitely helps knowing, knowing the fabric of the club. Um, I think it has seeing people that, that, that has been about this club for a long time, it's, it's, it's been great all week uh, in reconnecting with people again. Glenthorne is a brilliant club, there's brilliant people involved in it, uh, the support base is, is, is huge and all I'm looking for between now and the end of the season is that connection between staff, players, supporters, all pulling in the one direction. Difficult times, good times, when there's moments in the game that, that, that you're under a bit of pressure, it's important that we hopefully have the fans stick with, with the team. In return for that, it's up to the team to make sure that they're giving everything of themselves. And As I say, if we can get that connection, it certainly helps in terms of trying to achieve the goals. It's still possible between now and the end of the year. Cup final 1996, I have to ask you about it. What are your memories of the build-up to that game and the atmosphere around the Oval leading uh, up to it? I think, I think one of the things that stands out in my mind about that time, and never mind just the Cup final, was was the level of teammates that was about the place. Um, you know, people like John Devine, Chris Walker, Glenn Little, Liam Coyle, Darren Parker, Colin Nixon, lot, lot, just just so much talent and ability, but also, you know, people like Andy Madison, people like, you know, again Devine, Trevor Smith, you know, Justin McBride, you know, people have put their heart and soul into the the the, 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 the team and the club. And as I said already, you know, there was a lot of technical aspect of that team, but there was also a roll of sleeves up and be able to dig in. And in the cup final itself, it was a very tight affair. There wasn't, I didn't have a, a very rarely I had anything to do in the game because kind of both teams cancelled each other out, and it needed a bit of magic from Glenn Little. And what a goal it was they won it. But like, I believe that there's players here with a bit of magic in their boots as well, and 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 you might have seen it as many times this year. But um, I certainly believe that the players that are here now. Uh, have, have that real quality that they can go and do something special between now and the end of the year. There's there's no guarantees because we have to we have to stay tight together as a group. And we have to keep working hard. But that team and that that group back then, I think one of the things they knew was knew who they were representing. And if they wanted to play, they could play. But if they wanted to fight as well, they had a fight on them. That team um, and there was there was real men on it that that, that stood up and were counted and. I remember the celebrations after the game, it was, was, was incredible, um, but that team really did deserve to have silverware and as I say, a moment of magic from Glenn was, was good enough on the day. And you've maybe touched on it slightly there, the million dollar question, can this group of players not only get to the final this season but, but potentially go on and win it? Do you, do you see that talent within the, the ranks? I see I see loads of talent, I see loads of, loads of ability, um, semi-finals are tense affairs and I haven't really focused on it to be honest because I think most important game is, is Balamina and going into the, trying to build on the, as I said earlier, the momentum from last week. But whether we get their final, whether we don't get their final, we've got to give everything in our uh, uh, in our armory. Do they have a go at it? Um, not only is is that avenue available for Europe, but there's also the league has has an avenue available for Europe, and the players will, will hopefully be given everything between now and the end of the year to make sure that that's a success. As I say, Balamina is my sole focus this week. Um, hopefully, we can get a few players minutes as well to get them up to speed because. When you have a full squad here, they're, they're, they're serious talent. I'm thinking about the league then, I'm thinking about the game on Saturday. Has it been a quick shift from you from League of Ireland to Irish League and, and what sort of the, has the preparation been like this week? I'm a football man. I have I have watched a lot of Irish League football. You know, it, it, It's very accessible now and, and to be able to watch a lot of games. I, I know a lot of the players, as I said already. Um, 
but having worked with the Irish FA and, and, and underage internationals and, and under 21 level with Jim uh, Magilton, I know a lot of players who play in the Irish League and always keep a real eye on it. Um, I think the, the standard has really improved up here. I think there's a much more technical aspect of the game than over previous years. Um, and as I say, lots and lots of good players playing in the league and all the top clubs have, have real, real heavy armour of, of, of quality. And we can't afford to look down our nose at any opposition. But we we'll, we'll go into the game on Saturday, we make sure we take care of our side of things and that's to give everything that we possibly have. Uh, and come off the pitch knowing that we've worked at our highest, hardest levels, but also being brave enough to express ourselves and show people the talent that we have here.